cut crystal shapes Bentley Continental GTC losing 550 horses absorb this whole door finish that's nice thank you some life in the interior holy crap go to the classic very chic very big key well, yeah this is the proof 340,000 what's up all and welcome back to a fresh new inside series today I'm reviewing something very special for the first time ever a Bentley so big shout out to Bentley I welcome you with the Bentley Continental GTZ V8 with Bentley it was always in my mind about class details luxury classic but also a bit of that Gran Turismo sportiness and when you get in you get remembered what kind of ball game Bentley is the finish of this yeah this is crazy I can do a review on only buttons okay I have the Dutch option list here with all the names all the spec names all the special names for the leather and the carpeting let's have a look at the total spec list and the end price including all taxes in the Netherlands option list let's get started full name Bentley Continental GTC V8 we have an engine producing 550 horses the base price in the Netherlands is 270,173 euros and it's a 4 liter engine okay the color is named dark cashmere the interior is linen secondary hide is burnt oak carpets match to secondary hide boot carpet match to secondary hide Carpet binding matched the contrast stitching. Holy moly! Interior color split, color split A Y11. Steering column wheel cowl matched to main hide. Contrast stitching, contrast stitching and seat piping KN1. Roof exterior, exterior hood in dark brown RXE. Roof interior light gray FY. Let's have a look at these options. So we have the bright chrome lower bumper matrix style grill. All right, that's a cool name. It's a very long one as well. Smoker specification, okay. Heated duotone, three spoke high trimmed steering wheel, wind deflector, inductive phone charger, air ionizer, first aid kit and warning triangle, remote controlled garage door opener, deep aisle floor mats in front, name for Bentley. That's the high-end speaker system. There it is. Mulliner driving specification with polished alloy wheel, Bentley dynamic ride, Mulliner driving and technology specification, front seat comfort specification, Bentley rotating display, valet key. You know you were a serious car brand when they have a valet key in the option list. <laughs> okay Bentley GPS tracking system full fitment Europe LED welcome lamps by Mulliner all right all right all right so base price color specs options total end price in the Netherlands of the GTC V8 340,360 euros 340,000 yeah that's definitely top end pricing on the channel guys all right let's start on the exterior of this car because this car is crazy on its details Bentley Continental GTC V8 <laughs> let's first start on the front on that very very big grill so Bentley is famous for its huge grills and this is a serious metal grill this is all chromed out look at those finishes got these nice wave shapes here and these angles very very nice and then in the center here very cheeky front camera and on top we have the Bentley emblem the eagle and the B in the center and then below the big grill we have well let's say the front splitter with a little front splitter very elegant and then below the big grill we have another chrome grill also here we got some sensors that's the night vision camera if I'm right and behind there we have the radiator this is a UK press car that's why we have the Great Britain plates 
So yeah, grill in the face. You can see nicely how the cashmere, dark cashmere color, colors in this shadow with sunlight. And then we're going to this cut crystal shapes in the headlights. So we got two headlight units. There you can see, look at this. We have the Bentley B in the headlight finishing. So we got the cut crystal in inside, then outside trimmed with chrome. And here as well in the big unit of the headlight. And look at how this is coloring, wow. Also inside cut crystal again, LEDs, and then finish with, with some black and the chrome finishing on the second unit, on the big unit of the headlight. And here below, we don't have fog lights, no, no, no. This is also one big sensor on the left and on the right. Just as you can see also at Audi, they have the same system for the left and on the right for the sensors. And again, that metal chrome grill. Park pilots, not to forget. So here and there. Okay, let's have a look at the wheels. So yeah, there we go. These are the chromed wheels. Big wheels. Let's look at the measures. 275, 35, 22 inch wheels. 22 inch wheels. We got steel brakes huge discs and we got i think one uh, these are the 10 pistons 10 pistons <laughs> brake calipers bentley branded okay continue to the side there you got the v8 indication so you get reminded that this is the v8 gtc and then here we got this should definitely be a functional or not i have no clue guys if you know it drop it in the comment below so here we got some here we got a nice vent if this is functional it would be wheel vibration reduction if not it's just optical with a chrome strip here on the lower side of the side skirts and then if we go up we got a nice shaper in the mirrors accenting the whole mirror shape, blinkers here as well, and then here, the trim for the windows, set in chrome, and here we have the roof, from the inside it's Alcantara, very nice matching the dark cashmere of the paint of the car. Door handles, well yeah, these are Bentley finished door handles chrome combined with the dark cashmere and when you open them they open up just like with Porsche and of course soft closing aka comfort closing two window parts because hey it's a coupe it's the GTC convertible in this case and then we go to the to the back to the rear section of the car look at how how nice this is shaped this is so elegant if you look you have a look from this angle see how how the shape from those two headlights continue all the way to the back and then here sticking out accenting the whole rear of the continental okay rear wheels 315 holy moly 30 22 inch massive massive wheels 315 guys and again those nice chromed out bentley wheels wow four pistons black calipers and still pretty big discs for rear wheels. In the rear again, that chrome line continuing just from the side skirt, remember? Continues to the rib bumper as well. And also here around the whole roof. We also have there the trim from the window continuing all the way to the rear of the roof of the convertible. Yes, this is glass. Okay, this is also a nice detail, the fuel cap. Look inside. It's all about details. And also when you close it, the B centers perfectly. OK, 
Okay, the rear of the GTC V8. Wait, let's uh, turn on the rear LEDs. So it's pretty difficult to see. Let me try to work a bit with the light. You can see the LEDs. Oh, here you can see it a little bit. So yeah, we got a whole LED unit here. Outside, very strong lightened and inside it's dimmed. But again, that diamond cut. Rear LEDs also finished with that nice chrome. On the rear LEDs we go to the exhaust. So we got four exhaust tips. There you go. Chromed out and integrated in that whole rear diffuser. You got still got a little diffuser, look. That's what I mean with that Gran Turismo sportiness. Black finished here and also the park pilot is finished in black and this in the dark cashmere. That chrome trim is finished here. Because in the center we have, oh, we got a chrome section, chrome trimmed out section for the plate. Not bad at all, not bad at all. We got the rear camera, and then here in your face, Bentley. <laughs> yeah, 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 serious business. So, this is beautiful. Even with roof, it's beautiful. But let's uh, cue the music and let me pop the roof. Now that's some serious roof tech. All right, it's time to have a look at the engine bay and the rear trunk. So we control both from this side. There you go, rear trunk button. And uh, look at how luxury this handle is. <laughs> okay, the GTC V8 powered with a V8 engine, as it's mentioned, producing 550 horses from a V8 by turbo engine produced by Volkswagen Audi Group. There you go, reminds me a bit of the Porsche finishing of the Panamera. But here, look also how nice they've used these bars to stiffen the, well, to, to reduce the body roll and the whole chassis improvement for the driving tech. Still pretty hot, full metal. Yeah, that's serious. Engine bay, GTC, V8. So the trunk, we control it from the inside, from the driver's door. But also, you wouldn't expect this is a button. There you go, cute little trunk. And still, well, yeah, convertible type of space. Oh, by the way, this is a birthday present for Bart. Anyway, well, we still got some decent space for a convertible. This is my camera bag, so you can compare it to all the others. We have a little 12 volt input, very handy for your travels. This is my camera bag, so you can compare it to all the other reviews. This is the windshield, and there we have the bag for the windshield. So yeah, with Bentley, you get the, you get a separate bag for your windshield. Not bad at all. Okay time to get inside and let its interior shine at this lens here we go okay first of all absorb this whole door finish so everything what's white that's white leather we got two colors of stitching we got black or is it brown well maybe brown so let's say black brown gray anyway darks double stitching and we got some white stitching here also double here we got white stitching and diamond shaped finishing also two type of white stitchings so that's a nice nice detail and then here on top it's finished in that whole wooden trim the whole car has finished in the interior and here on top again the dark stitching all the way shaped these are the Bentley <laughs> buttons for the windows they feel very, very firm, very soft and smooth. 
These are the door handles, also very chic, very big. And here below we got some extra spaces. My wallet is water. The memory buttons for the seats. So we got memory seats. Here we got a nice speaker unit that's actually nice colored because that's not contrasting with that speaker unit. So this is actually pretty stealth, stealthy speaker. And here we got the nine name finishing of the optional most expensive speaker system for the Bentley. Don't forget this is not plastic guys. This is all metal. Okay, well that's uh, the review of the door. <laughs> Crazy approved. Okay, let's go to the door sill. Bentley LED enlightened satin here on top. So we got well one, two, we got three layers of door sills actually, very luxury. And here on top, an emblem saying handcrafted Bentley Motors LTD crew England very very chic so yeah that's the three parts of the whole door sill and when you enter this is brown leather here on the right also brown leather then we got that nice brown carpeting here there you go and even the rail system of the seat is finished in chrome and here we have the button controls for the seats by the way very very good seats, sport seats, and very comfy as well. So, sick balance, impressive, impressive Bentley. So we got full electric adjustable seats. Here we control the whole seat section for your personal, personal settings. And there you got the button, of course, for the massage system. Seats also in that white leather. This is also leather, by the way, guys. This is all leather. Got some brown finishing here, white stitching. And uh, yeah, well, this is also leather in the side of the dash. So everything that's visible on the eye, it's finished in leather. Entry test, Bentley GTC V8. Well, it's currently on sport mode, so the air suspension is a bit lowered, but it's still very comfy entering. Welcome inside. That's nice, thank you. Okay, let's uh, fire this up. So we got some life in the interior. Holy guacamole, guys, yeah. I'm still very stunned. I've driven three days in this. Three gets me from the ride out, but I'm still, it's so, so beautiful. So let's start on the left. So we got the light switch here, press buttons, but of course we got full automatic lighting. And then we have the vents. Let me explain a bit the vents. So the vents are finished in the wooden housing. There you go. And these pins, these are metal. And these metal pins you can engage, engage or disengage the air from your vent. Very, very English, very classy. And this is all metal by the way, metal finishing. This as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the whole air vent system. On top of the dash, we got brown leather and that light leather with contrasting stitching. Wow, that's cool. So we got with the brown leather, we got the white stitching. With the light white leather, we got the brown stitching. So that's full contrasting. And also here in the whole pillar of the front window, this is all brown leather. Even this is in brown leather. There you go. But of course, the heads of display unit over there and the whole leather goes all the way to the right side to the passenger side so steering wheel in the center all leather with a nice chrome bentley emblem and then here in the center of the steering wheel again leather brown leather brown stitching in the white leather so it's all contrasting again and this is what i really like these rotating buttons these as well and this here and also this, this is all metal. Let me try to close up something for you. This is 
such a nice metal finish feels very firm very very high-end gives you really that, that utterly luxurious feeling you won't have in a well yeah in a, in a German car actually speedometer is what well. we got a full digital speedometer system on the steering wheel here you can change your views the digital cockpit shift up shift down and <laughs> to give you a little view on the rear of the shift pedals nice finishing again with that high-end metal finishing so yeah that's the that's the detail of the whole steering wheel <laughs> this is crazy everything has so much details can make a separate video on only the door the steering wheels is crazy okay let's go center unit so first of all the center unit is really high positioned that's really comfy because it gives you a bit of that couch feeling that sofa feeling and not to forget by the way this here is all finished in leather and what the brake the brake pedal has the Bentley B <laughs> okay details are surprising me here so all everything was white is white leather contrasting stitching here's some little pocket spaces for your personal items then we got the whole big center console so first of all we got the whole set nav digital interface and this is the flip screen. When you fire the engine up, ta -da, it flips to the whole set nav system. And if you push this button, oh, this is one of my most favorite features in the car. We go to the classic, look at this, three meters outside air temperature. This is compass and this is the time. We got analog meters, wow. Detailing, detailing, detailing. And by the way, the whole interface setup system is pretty familiar, just like Porsche, which are menus on the left. Full touch screen, very intuitive. Here below we control the whole multimedia system for your nav, phone, screen flip, the car, media, source, and the controls. And again, these buttons, these well rotating switches are also in metal. It feels so nice, so firm. So below the big screen, we got the nice two vents again with those two pins to engage or disengage the air from the climate system. And we got a nice, very nice finishing here of a center clock. This is watchmaking. Reminds me instantly of Breitling. If you look closely, you can also see how good the glass is. Well, anti-glared, unmirrored, we call it in Dutch. Very, very nice. Oh, And then below the clock, we have the gear knob with the two separate climate systems for the driver and the passenger. So here on the left, you hear those clicks. This is so high-end, very nice. I think this is even OLED, a little OLED screen with your temperatures. You can also even push this, <laughs> crazy finishing. Gear knob, very big, very firm. Big Bentley button over here. Parking button here. The brown leather and that nice chrome finishing again. And also these buttons, nice satin and the big engine start stop button and the controls for the dynamic ride of Bentley the car programs so we have Bentley mode that's the mode that Bentley thinks is the best then we got full comfort mode and your personal mode which you can choose here and of course sport mode which the car gets lowered and the exhaust valves open up I'll put the GoPro later on, on the exhaust so you can hear the pops because this car this Bentley sounds really good surprisingly surprisingly good so yeah very nice button again nice clicks full metal as well 
So this is by the all housed in that wood. Here we have two cup holders, <laughs> two cup holders. And this is by the way, the Bentley key. Very, very chic, very big key. Well, yeah, serious car, big key. Then we continue to the armrest with that nice light leather, contrasting stitching again. So there we got a lot of stuff, personal stuff from me, but we got two USB inputs, even an aux input and the cigarette lighter. Let me show you the cigarette lighter. This is the cigarette lighter. It's also heavy metal, nicely finished. Yep, details. Bentley's killing it with details. Here also leather finishing, leather everywhere. Okay, passenger side, well, yeah, wooden finish, the little glove box, there you go, we got an SDI input, SIM card input, and the SD2 input, reminds me of Audi by the way, and again, white leather and on top, that double contrasting, finishing, a little close up at the awesome seats. In the headrest stitching Bentley wow normally that's embossed but stitching that's some serious work okay by the way here on top we got some nice LEDs ah, this is your home garage opener and look at this is the most high-end garage door opener I've ever seen all right we need to configure it that Wow, wow, wow. I know guys, it's a lot of info, but hey, this is how it is because it's so detailed. You can see this, it's, I'm still flabbergasted. As you know, I work daily with a lot of German luxury cars, but sitting in the Bentley, driving it, experiencing it, touching and feeling and smelling literally everything really shows you how Bentley is a different ball game compared to the other brands in Germany. So yeah. Thumbs up for Bentley. Okay, we do have two rear seats. They're not the biggest seats, but let's try to have a look in these seats. Okay, this is my coat. Okay, let's see. So yeah, Bentley rear section. Okay, here we go. So first of all, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? We got again, just like the front doors, we got that nice finishing with that light leather, the diamond white stitching here. <laughs> nice button for the window. I oh, don't no, because the door is open, it doesn't work. Twitter unit of the name audio. Bentley stitching again here. Oh, that's a deep, that's a very deep set. In the center console of the rear passengers, we got <laughs> a powered USB input. Thank you, Bentley. Again, that high-end cigarette lighter. Two cute little cup holders. Whoa. What? What the hell? This is like one kilogram. Holy moly. I'm not kidding. This is so heavy. Maybe you can hear it on the clicks. It's full metal. Wow. So yeah, Bentley keeps impressing on details. Let me see, what is this? What is this? Speaker unit. Is this a hidden section? Well, if there's any Bentley owners seeing this, please comment what this is for. <laughs> it should definitely have a function. Okay. Let's see if I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. So yeah, this is the proof. The rear section is for kids only. From here we can see also again those layers of leather of that center console. 
Alrighty guys, the Bentley GTC V8. It's time for the engine, the V8. The 550 horses V8 by turbo engine. I'm gonna start the car up in Bentley mode. Then I'm gonna change the switch to sport mode so you can hear the pops. And then we're gonna drive also on sport mode. And of course, I wanna thank you for watching this extended review of the Bentley GTC V8. Big shout out to Bentley for the first one on the channel. And uh, yeah, for now I'm just gonna say enjoy the music from this V8. Because Bentley's class and elegance, but if you put this in sport mode, you can hear that Bentley does racing.